Nevada Virtual Academy, we are back. Uh, one more problem. Number 16. The table below shows the value of a certain collectible baseball card over eight years. And you see the table in here. Which exponential equation best represents the data? Okay. FGHJY equals 2.18 times 6.1 to the power of x, y equals 14.8 times 9.58 to the power of x, and so on. Okay? How can we solve this problem? Well, obviously there are many ways to solve it. Maybe the best way is, you know what, to use 1 for x in each one of this equation. So basically going to say, well, if x equals 1, what would be y for f? G, H, J options. And if x equals 1, y will be what? 2.18. And I'm going to approximate it to 2 times what? 6.1 to the power of 1, which is 6, and it has to be 12. But in the table, I have 3 as a value. F is not good. Moving on with the next one. Substituting x in your expression. Your y will be 14.8, which is approximately 15, times 9.58 to the power of 1. I mean, 9.58, right, which is, I don't know, you can approximate it to 9 or to 10. Well, the most correct one would be to 10, obviously, because it's greater than 0.5, uh, decimal part. But that's 150. It has to be 3. Not good. Okay, moving on to the next one, h. Uh, I know which is a different color for better differentiation here. 0.53, that's what? 1 half times 1 to the power of 1, that's 1. It should be 1 half. Not good because I need to have 3. H is eliminated. You have one option left in here, which says your Y will be 2.25. Now you can leave it like that, or you can write it as 10 over 4. That's um, all up to you. 2.25. I will say 2 times 1.59 to the power of 1, which is um, what? That will be approximately 2, right? Well, obviously less than 2, um, and the answer here is approximately 4. That's the closest one to, um, you know, approximate value in, in dollars here. If you know, you're not quite sure yet, you can try with, uh, you know, giving 2 as a value to your um, equations here, I mean, to your functions, right, and plug that in, see if it verifies, and most likely will do, um, let's try my J answer here, right, if um, X equals 2, I have what, 2.25, times 1.59, to the power of 2, that's approximately 2 to the power of 2, which is what? 4, um, 2.25 times 4, that gives us 8. Okay, now we should get 5, it looks like we are kind of uh, far away from it, however, it's probably the best approximation, because if you check any other one, you have 2.18 times 6 to the power of 2, that's 36 times 2. Uh, that's going to be, you know, greater than 70. Not good, it has to be around 5, right? G, 14.8 uh, times 9 squared, which is, uh, you know, 81. It's a huge number. 0 0.53, 1 half times 1 to the power of 2, which is still 1. Uh, that's too low, right? And that's why J is the best. You know, the best represents the data. Okay, it doesn't mean it's exactly uh, what your data here is, but will be the best representation with the uh, uh, least error for it. Okay, and this is one way in which you can solve this problem.